Hi, my name is Kester Haynes. I am a Parajet team pilot. And uh, today we're going to look at the new Parajet harness, which has several new features that we're going to talk about. So, one main feature is that it's a lot lighter, which is great. Um, also, I'll show you in a minute, but when we put it on my back, you'll notice that we have a rucksack type adjustment here which keeps it a lot closer to your back stopping it slip back like um, some others might do. Um, also the padding on the back is all very aerated nice bit of cooling going on. There. Leg straps are far simpler on the previous one we used the leg straps the adjustment needed to be quite exact. With this type, you can be less exact and you're still going to get into the seat instead of maybe taking off, hanging out and not being able to get in. With this type of design, you should be able to get in far easier, even if your adjustment isn't quite exact. So I think I'll get it on my back and um, we'll have a look at it from there. I just uh, put my leg under the seat board. I'm not having to kneel down at all at the moment. It's quite nice with the macro. Shoulder straps on. What we call the chest strap. And then the lighter non-structural strap which just keeps the shoulder straps together. And now, we'll stand up. As you notice, the paramotor is really close to my back, which means that it feels a lot lighter because it's not hanging off, making it awkward to stand with the weight on your back. Now I can go for adjusting the leg straps. You can have them higher than the uh, maybe the previous harnesses we used. They were often down here. These ones are better if they're a bit higher. And just the right amount of tension so that you can still move your legs and there you go. So the adjustment on this harness which is a new feature is very much like a rucksack so it's familiar to most people and you'll notice that it goes down here all the way down to the chassis leaving this one free so that the arms and everything are still able to move and um, Again, just keeping it close to your back and making it far more comfortable when you're running along. It's not going to flop backwards. Okay, we'll jump in the hang test now and have a look at it there. Okay, so now in the hang test. Um, it's really comfortable actually. Uh, here we've got, instead of the metal buckles you might have noticed before, we've got these which can take up to 100 kilos quite surprisingly. Um, so you've got the adjustment there on the secondary seat board which means that you get support all the way to the back of your knees so you can have her as little as much as you want um, you might have noticed that the buckles are quite a lot lighter and still well and above the uh, the stress that they well they can take well and above the stress that they need to um, so just to show you in and out of the seat if I was to be coming in for a landing now, I don't even need to use my hands. I just get my weight forwards and now I'm out of the seat, ready to land. And likewise for takeoff, I literally lift my knees and then I go. I can do a final adjustment on the uh, secondary seat board if need be, but I tend to leave the setting the same and just use it and leave it there and just in and out. So now I'm going to demonstrate the fact that if you do adjust your leg straps rather badly, you can still get in and out of the seat. So if I get out now with no hands at all, okay, you can see I'm, I'm well out of the seat, more than I'd like to be, but I can still get in the seat without using my hands. Just lift my knees up and away I go.